it's all the same because the home we came back to was the home that I grew up in. Um, so it's a story and a half, 1920s house. Um, there are many of them around Oshawa. I would like um, all little closets and cubby holes and things, which as an adult, there's very little storage, but when I was little, I thought there was all kinds of places to, to hide. And I loved that when I was a kid. I liked making forts and being in, in small spaces and closets and having my own little space. When I was young, young, I went to a public school, which was across from the mall. Um, and my mother worked at the mall. So after school, I would go over to the mall where she worked at Kresge's. Um, and I would wait for her to finish her shift. She worked at the lunch counter. So I got to spend all this time in the store um, checking out the toys. And it was almost like a second home, kind of. Mm -hmm. And then just the school itself that I went to was quite old. So that was kind of fun. We all knew each other. We all went to school from kindergarten to grade six together. So it was kind of like a family. When I was in public school, grade seven, I think, I live near a big hill, but uh, the bottom of the hill is a, a street. Not a busy street, but a fairly busy street, which was uh, excellent for tobogganing. And my friend and I, for whatever reason, we thought we would try and get um, vehicles to stop, thinking that we were in distress. So I, she pretended to be hurt, and I flag, you know, flailed my arms, tried to stop the cars, help, help, help. And then they would stop, and we would say, we're just conducting a survey to see how many people would stop and assist young children that are injured at the, at the snowmobile hill, like the toboggan hill. And these people would yell and say, that's terrible, why are you doing this? I have no idea to this day why we did it, but we thought that was great fun. <laughs>